All right, hey y'all, it's uh, Milo Molson again here with uh, part 2.5, oddly enough, of our Super Time Force playthrough and uh, Subnautica. It'll be part nine. I don't know how I'm gonna label this video. It's gonna mess with it a little bit. <laughs> I think I might have to just chop them in half in the VOD, but that's something to worry about later. <clears throat> anyway, I uh, like I might've said before, I did some reading and some people seem to think that using uh, Commander Repeatsky's beam weapon too much uh, might mess with some memory addresses or something and uh, cause an overflow. And I don't know, that sounds kind of far-fetched to me, but uh, let's start, it's a working theory right now. And if uh, it doesn't work, I don't have any other, uh, well, I won't say options, but ideas. I mean, I could dust out my old Xbox One and finish it on there, but uh, I think I'll just try this. But anyhow, enough of that. Let's get right into it. Takes a second to load this. Oh, and it's got, yeah, the focus is kind of weird on it. There we go. And uh, luckily the game does auto save, so we're right at the uh, last boss stage, so we can just try again. But uh, last time I was relying pretty heavily on beam weapons, so I'll have to think of something else. Excuse me. Whew, I don't know why I'm burpy today. <laughs> All right. Back in the center. Stage three. No, he's just driving his interstellar big rig right there. Uh, and that's uh, Dr. Uh, Doctor Infinity, yeah, yeah. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Even the stupid time force will never be able to stop me. Do the math, Doc. You'll never defeat the Super Time Force. We are infinitely more better than you. Burn. Stop selling for time and prepare to become the Super Time Corpse. Alright, since we can't do repeat ski. I'm gonna go to Loot Dungeon. All right, that was uh, unwise. And keep in mind, this is going to be changing a lot as time goes on, so. I did, whoa. Well, that's right, the health bar re restores every time, so. It's a multi-stage boss. We'll take that shard, thank you. If I don't die first. But of course, keep in mind that we gotta keep it our, our ship's health in uh, check too, so I'm gonna go back even further. Well, that's going on. I think the strat here is just gonna be spam the heck out of the lightsabers. Because look at that, I mean, he's already getting down pretty fast. There we go. That's a acceptable loss, I guess. I didn't even plan on that, but it worked out. This is going to be another uh, time travel event. See, look how low the ship's getting. Ah, shit. I forgot. <laughs> ah, so much for that. Oh, I could have lived, actually. See, I was looking at myself in the past. But when you think about it, everything you've ever seen is in the past, right? Because <laughs> it takes time for the light to get there.
Somebody needs to be handling this side of the building. Or the robot. If I could just beat this blue dawn, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need to come back a bit. Probably could have gone back further, but not really a point to go back further than when the, when the uh, ship's health is up there. Always a good idea to get those. I barely missed it. And we're not doing too bad on the health of the ship. Not doing great either, though. Oh, why did I do that? Let's get that one. Ah, <laughs> they're triggering me. They're doing the same old thing twice. Alright, well, we're gonna have to go back for sure because look at that. We've only got a sliver. And maybe you could do it, but those guys pack a wall up at the end there, so. Alright, you know, if I could just finish this up in one shot, I would be happy with that. Ah! See, I always fall for the same old trap there. Tie tie. <laughs> hmm. Alright, and there's another one over here that we never have gotten before. Halfway in... You know, I can just stay under here and prevent him from getting down. So I'm just gonna do that. Oh no, there was four stages, I forgot. Yeah, that laser beam is not a good one to have. But hey, I'll tell you what, I can come back down here. And I'll have another loot on so we can get it even faster. And then I'll go shieldy. And what I can do is I can just make a force field in the middle there and just try to chill. Hmm, we'll go with that. Ah, I should have gone shieldy. Nah, we're trying to get that faster, so I don't hate it. It's like, uh, you're not coming down here, buddy. I ah, see that one cost some time there. But we'll go back, but we won't alter the damage or anything. We'll just, we'll go shield here. Ah, I wasn't quite fast enough. 20? Yeah, we're all right. All right, now we need our heavy hitters again. Uh, it's gonna be loot on. I, I wish uh, Jeff did a little bit more damage, but just, I mean, it's hard to beat throwing a lightsaber. I'm just gonna be ready for him. Yeah, see? There you go. Just like that. And now you can just throw in less lightsaber here. And see, these guys, they do pack a bit. So if we come back to the beginning of this stage here, and I could, I'll get them a little bit faster with another Ludon. Yeah, see, I was a little bit quick for the shield there. little bit 
Should have just been throwing it, because even then, if I die, it's like whatever, right? And uh, since we're going to be dealing with a lot of those fly guys, let's go with Jeff, because uh, that explosion will have some radius to it. Ah, shoot. Yeah, see, now we're burning through our things. Ah, shield, he saved me, and I didn't even know it. I think that was the, the lightsaber right there. Wow, look at all these Dr. Blown, or Infinities. I want to call them Dr. Blown because they're called Blown Bots, but it's actually Dr. Infinity. All right, mm, that was uh, okay. I mean, I, I'm gonna risk a little bit of Commander. No, I won't do it. I want to, but I'm just going to go Cleo. Because she seems like she can handle this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the trick right there. I'll just keep doing that. See about... Can we make this a little faster? Too many waves of them. I think we're gonna have to go back even further, maybe. Not all the way, but <clears throat> like when we're just chilling here, waiting for that drill to happen. Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of wasted time. So back to Ludon. All right, there we go. I think we got it, fellas. Mission complete. Nailed it. Surrender, Dr. Infinity. You've been defeated. You've run out of time. <laughs> you may have defeated me, Commander, but you have also defeated... Yourself. Dun dun dun! What the fudge, me? Don't you see? This is all our fault. We destroyed Earth twice, maybe even thrice. Lies. This whole time, I was only trying to stop you, me, from going hog wild with the delicious power of time travel. Lies, lies. I invented the Blown Bots to help me stop you from recklessly remolding the Earth into a twisted shrine to our arrogance. Lies, lies, lies. Let's face it. We were nothing but a lonely physicist. And then we tasted cool for the first time. And we blew it up. Lies, 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 lies. I'm a hero. I'm a leader. I saved Earth. I've dated super bottles. My face is getting carved onto Mount Rushmore as we speak. Or it was. Oh, Lordy, you're right. Me? What have we done? 
sorry for trying to kill you a whole bunch of times. Me too, but time heals all wounds. Oh man, we're gonna get into some time puns here. Only time will <laughs> tell. I guess we'll just have to take it one day at a time. I know, battling you, I had the time of my life. Oh my god, really? Well, time flies when you're having fun. Maybe you'll do it again some time. <laughs> it would be nice to spend a little quality time with ourselves. <laughs> but now it's time to make a bit. Oh my god. <laughs> a stitch in time saves nine. Time is money, as they say. Oh my fucking goodness. <laughs> then let's not waste any more time. Very well. <clears throat> I guess it's about that time. I love you, me. I love me too, you. <laughs> oh. Faster, faster. Oh man, this is going to be the greatest hug or high five. I'm not sure which one. It was a hug. Philadelphia, USA, Super 1987. I don't know. This time travel formula could cause a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> don't worry. I have a plan. Everything is going to be just fine this time. What? Are you... Me? Oh, you were right, Commander Me. The old us is a real egghead. My god, I really did it. I truly cracked the conundrums of space-time manipulation. What do you want, medal? Because maybe you deserve one. In the nerd decathlon. <laughs> Burn. Nerdy is this nerdy us guy. So, uh, did we just battle ourselves through time and space? Good guess, Professor Obvious. Then we realized the folly of our ways and became best buds with ourselves. Yep, me is the best friend you ever had. Fudge buckets, that sounds fantastic, and I missed the whole thing. Well, what do you say, your peaskies? How about you, me, and I take the old space time for another spin around the block? Ding! <laughs> and so it repeated forever and ever. <laughs> And that's a wrap. So uh, maybe there was a little something to that uh, magic beam memory overflow power thing. Hmm. Well. Up Ultra Force Unlock. Ooh. Super hardcore mode on the main menu. But uh, dare I say, folks, that is for another time. So I'm going to take us back to the loading screen here uh, while I uh, get things sorted out for Subnautica. So uh, bear with me for a second there.
All right, now we're getting into Subnautica. Now that's going to take a little second to load here. I will ask you to bear with me on that one. Oh, is it not going to make my con... There we go. All right. All right. So, <clears throat> as I said, uh, well, at the end of last one, I think we, uh, we're just ready to go deeper now. So that'll be good. Uh, have I changed my title on that and the tag? I'll risk it. All right. Another day in the ocean. And let me know if the uh, audio is too loud. For some reason, I have this one set at 90%, and usually I have the others at 70. So uh, it could be a little louder than usual. Watching this little penguin dude load it up. All right, here we go. Inventory check. We got some water and food. That's good. Well, we could stand to have something to drink, but we don't have any fish. Let me double check here. Make sure it's still here. Because it's not. Well, see All right, where'd anxiety. it go? Where's my ship? Oh, there. <laughs> oh, man. I was about to freak out for a second. Ah, oh, look at that. 650 meters of pure awesome. Well, I will have to do something about this water, so... And I still gotta find Marguerite. But before I do that... Was there anything here that I want to see? Yeah, I did, actually. Um, I'll head down to our other base there. And, um... I'm gonna grab... Because I know there's usually a lot of, uh... A lot of, uh, what do you call them, bladder fish down there. So I can get hydrated and, you know, eat too, because there's food there. Can it's going to be so nice to just be able to drive down there. I almost want to put a moon pool down there, but I'll hold off on that for a while, because I have a feeling I won't be spending way too much time down there anymore. Since I got, you know, the kind of kyanite and stuff I need. But that's a good place for, uh, like, you know, deep sea stuff. Or, like, you know, nickel, kyanite, uranium. Because I would, I do have the plans for a nuclear reactor, actually. So, uh, if I build a more permanent base up top, I think that'll be the way to go. All right, something's chasing me, but I'm at 100% hull and hull and hull and yeah, hull integrity. Goodness. So I'm not worried. Oh, it's so nice. It's gonna be like, oh, 300. I don't care about that. I can go double that. And that way, you don't have to worry about the oxygen or anything. It's just. It's just nicer all the way around. Now there is a, you know, a 650 is uh, not, I've been down a 650 before, don't get me wrong. I still gotta do something about this hydration situation. So this isn't where we need to be, but it's nice coming down here in a sea truck. Make sure our other tank's full too, while we're thinking about it. Always good to check on that. But yeah, I mean, it's not exactly right here, but see that urinite hanging there, so. And you know, you wouldn't think it by looking, but it's, it says it's only one degree Celsius down here, which is, well, just above freezing for water. Not salt water, but mighty cold. I wouldn't want to be in it for long. Though I have kind of wanted to do an ice bath for a little bit recently. <laughs> You know, watch some of those Wim Hof videos and sit in a tub of ice water. All right, I think I've already scanned Seek this. Fluid intake immediately. All right, I will start dehydrating if I don't find that at the base. All right, that's aquarium. We don't need it because we already have it. But since I do have this depth upgrade, maybe next time, I don't know about this time, I'll start looking for um, that final one for the uh, container module. Because that's really what I need. A place to store stuff. Alright, so... Pilot last stress in the deep base. Okay, so I was heading in the wrong direction. And also there's an afterburner mod. Well, it's not a burner, but sort of like a thruster mod you can apply to this, I believe. 
I do have the one that it will um, allow you to go a little faster with uh, modules attached, but that's not what I'm talking about. It's, it's kind of a get out of jail uh, quick card. Not for Eve necessarily, but if you got a Reaper Leviathan coming at you or something, and you need to get out, you can. Because can you imagine losing a, a convoy full of crap to a sea monster? That would just be devastating. But as far as what our next story, our, okay. So our next story objective is finding Marguerite on a uh, a uh, I don't know if it was an iceberg or something like that, but it was about a kilometer east of Delta Island or the Delta Station. So that narrows it down a bit. But which way is east? Because I didn't find a good answer on the compass. All right. Let's see which way is our deep sea base? This way. So, and I always have trouble finding this place for some reason. It's a little bit out of the way, but sometimes you just head right there. I think it's kind of just getting used to the landmarks or sea marks or whatever you want to call them up here. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie right, well, intake immediately. No point in having this stuff if you can't use it, right? Vital signs so, stabilizing. That'll buy, buy us a little bit more time. Because I do kind of want to take it a little bit easier. Now that I've got this uh, depth. Alright, now this is the wrong way. We've been here just a little bit ago. Alright, so in a situation like this, I think it makes more sense to just get up to the top, have a little bit more maneuvering room, so you can actually go where you need to go. And uh, see what you need to see. So, for example, there's our forward base pilot. That's our, that's where we came from earlier in the stream here, and that's where uh, Marguerite's uh, her bunker is, or not bunker, but whatever. But not where we need to meet her. Oddly enough, all right, this shark is going to probably come after me. What well, is coming after me? I'm gonna see if it EMPs me. If it does, you'll see our power cut out. But I don't know if he's quite fast enough. I don't think so. I think we made it. I'm not really worried about those. Okay, this look. This looks about right. See that oxygen plant there? Looks about right, but. I might be wrong too. All right, what's over there? Another oxygen plant. Here. Okay, I think we're on the right track. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Because this is where you, I'd usually have to get out because it's 300 meters. But we have a solution here. So we can take the time. We got 89% of our power left. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Actually, now that we've uh, got her to go somewhere, let's see if that uh, creature is still guarding the base there. Kind of curious if he's gone. Seek fluid intake. Had uh, the first never ends, does it? Man, I do have some beer in the fridge. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to go get one, <laughs> but I'll hold off a minute. Oh, so she, uh, well, she locked her house when she left, I, and she took a thing. Now, I'm not gonna try to get in there with that. I don't want to bang it up because I know it won't work. And it's, well, you know, actually, I will, because just out of morbid curiosity. Oh, okay, so it's not the, it's not a regular moon pool. Obviously, from looking at it. Ah, that one. You'd think that oxygen plant would have just bent over right there. But anyway. And actually, while I'm thinking of it, let's see what we need for the uh, still suit upgrade. Because that would solve a lot of this water issue that we're having. 
and anything to save you from uh, just kind of bothering with the menial task of staying alive <laughs> is, uh, is a good thing in my book. Less drudgery and more uh, consequential action. So, still suit. Still suit Doka. Alright. We need air gel and copper wire. And we have the ingredients for both. I don't know if we have them down here, but if we do, I am going to get on that. Right here. Mm. We might find somewhere with a thermal vent that would uh, make sense to build in. And here's a bladder fish. Uh, normally I wouldn't bother, but we're here. Let's grab him. I would just normally grab him down there, but if you, hey, if it's free fish, you grab it. All right, now this leads down to our base here. I think. Yes, as you can see. Those beacons are so handy sometimes. Did I miss anything up here before? I don't think so. There might be some uh, fragments of the... Uh, Pulsion arm or whatever. Looks like uh, quartz up there. Quartz. Yeah, see, that's that's just free titanium because I've already got, got the technology discovered, I'm pretty sure. Let me double check, actually, though. Because uh, one one time I, I thought I did and I did not. Wrong suit. Alright, that's good. Okay, so I've got all the prawn suit stuff figured out, except for the actual literal prawn suit figured out, except for the actual literal prawn suit. Which, wait, or do I? The vehicle. And the screen's kind of hard to. Yeah, see, I, I don't know why I'm missing the actual. Seek fluid intake immediately. But these are just going to give you titanium if you scan them, so I don't want it right now. I'll just leave them to when I need it. But uh, before I dehydrate myself to death, lab it on here. <laughs> oh, you know, that's the that's the real reason for a moon pool, so you can recharge your vehicles. So, ah, but then again, it's just it's it's just right on the margins of uh, what I'd want to consider, because I do think it sounds nice, but. At the same time, I don't know how much time I'll really be spending down here uh, in the future now that I've found what I needed. Come on, feather fish. I'll just uh, grab a few. I'll hold on to them. I won't cook them all. I will do uh, the bladder fish in the water, though. And I might need to put this in a reactor or something, so whatever. Come on. Where'd you go? All right, let's get the bladder fish. And do we have a spare battery? Because I want to have a spare battery. No, I don't. So I'll just put up this ion cube and uh, grab a spare battery if we got one in the charger there. Just in case uh, you get caught with uh, no battery out in the middle of nowhere, you'll have something to swim your way back with at least. Welcome uh, to the oh, we're out of power. Well, okay, it's a good thing I grabbed these. Huh. I'll grab a couple more. Is that battery? I guess that battery charger uses a lot more power than you thought. Let's grab this thing. Grab that one. That'll be enough. I want to eat till I get my belly full here and then uh, put the rest in there. Because food, uh, if you're out and about, you can get food a little easier because you can use that uh, thermal knife there for it. But water, you have to have the laser. And actually, I need to be investigating how to use the bleach to make uh, some uh, water here. I'm surprised I haven't found that recipe yet. But anyway, before I uh, dry myself out here. Now that I have another one of them. The rest can go in the power station. All right, so drink my waters. Vital signs stabilizing. Eat my food. Put those out in here, just so I don't have to think about it. And let's see if we can get some more bladder fish here. 
because I'd like to have a... Actually, before I do that, let's see what the Sil suit's got, because... Aerogel, I, I believe, was just uh, rubies and... Well, we'll find out here. Uh, no. Aerogel is a ruby and a gel sack. And then we'll need copper wire. So we get a ruby here. Ruby got it. Uh, gel sack. Gel sack, anybody? I know where we can find some. I'm just kind of surprised we don't have them out here. Alright, well, anyway. And we can just go ahead and make the copper wire whenever. I'll just make one now so we, so we, uh... So we have it on us. Hey, uh, hey, uh, Chell, what's up? Just doing a little, uh, Subnautica here. How you doing? Yeah, I finally got that depth module that I've been going after for several streams now. <laughs> so, I finally can get down here with the ship here. Sea truck. Grab that bladder fish. So I don't run out of water. I will need that gel sack though. So I think I'll go ahead for that now. Oh, you just got off work? Nice, nice. Yeah, weekend's finally here. <laughs> eh, all right. So before I go deeper there, because there's a big sea monster down there, and I don't want to quite tangle with it till I get that still suit, so I don't have to think about water nearly as much. Yeah, I thought you'd pop in. Well, thanks for stopping by. Yeah. yeah it's just a uh, good old Subnautica. I finished up the Super Time Force before this. Yeah, there was a boss that I couldn't quite beat. Oh, you don't get a weekend? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, well, when, when yours does come, though. Then you could say that. <laughs> Let's see now, as far as that goes though, I might have to go up to the surface in the thermal area. I'm curious if this uh, sea truck can handle this. It's getting warm in here, 66 Celsius. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is a vent garden right here. This is like a, well, it's kind of like a jellyfish, and there's a lot of stuff in there that you can grab. Now, I spent quite a while searching for something called a spiral plant, and I ran by this so many times because I didn't know you could go in. Oh, there's a chelicerate, I believe. Yeah, those guys are tough. And I, well, I did see the gel sack around one of these places here. Huh. Yeah, it's, this is game, I have to say, it is really pretty. The, uh, just the aesthetics of it are almost worth playing it for that. I mean, because there's just all these different biomes and all the bioluminescence and even the monsters look cool. It's just... Very, very visually striking game, I think. And there's a, even in this one, there's more of an above part where you, there's like a lot of ice things. And there's, you know, this would be the kind of game I think it would either give you a heart attack or you'd love it. But playing it in VR would be really cool, I think. But uh, once you get grabbed by some, <laughs> that would uh, that would be terrifying a little bit. Like these, they're not bad, but there's some real bad critters out here. I know I saw it. All right, here's what I'll do. I'll just go to my, um, let's see, where's my forward base pilot? Yeah, that's about half a kilometer away. And I'm pretty sure I got some there. And if I, if I don't, I know I have met the, uh, the escape pod. Because once I have that still suit, I won't have to water, worry about water nearly as much. And that's, because babysitting your resources, it's part of, I mean, it, you can't have a survival game that doesn't have that kind of deal, at least for a, a while, but 
Any game with speculative biology? Yeah, yeah. I, that's a that's a good thing. And actually, what, another good thing about this game is um, that you're mentioning that. Um, let's see, indigenous life forms. Yeah, they've got like different. Uh, you can scan them. And they get, they kind of go into like the niches and the biology of each of the creatures that you can scan. So, I mean, they they uh, they lean into that quite a bit. So I, I appreciate that. Because uh, basically, uh, you're well, you not not your character in this game, but the company that your sister worked for that you're trying to help her or find her. Their company uh, was kind of here to explore and find out about the different life forms and, uh, well, what they can get out of the planet, honestly. But <laughs> and also, they have uh, an alien species here. The head artist of this game has a book out. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. I'll have to check that out sometime. Yeah, I didn't even, uh, I didn't even know there was a book. All right, well, I got here. And I didn't connect my... Uh, moon pool to my uh, main well base here because the place I put it was in just a bad spot oh wow we're running out of power uh, let's see if I can get some in here yeah that's will work yeah and I think the fact that it takes place in a deep sea uh, location, that really helps. Because, uh, I mean, even on Earth here, deep sea creatures, are, they seem almost alien, right? So it, it, it kind of helps with the suspension of disbelief, too. So you can kind of get more into it, I suppose. Oh, yeah. I was going to put this in here. And aerogel. So we need that plant. What was that? Ah, gel sac. Okay, I think we're good. And I had a poster in here for some reason. Whatever. <laughs> I'll worry about that later. All right. Advanced materials. It was not that. It was an elect. It can't be electronics, can it? No, here. Advanced. Oh, uh, hey there. What's up? Well, uh, I hope you have a good sleep there, uh, Kira. Yeah, deep sea biology is great. <laughs> it's good to see you. Yeah. Yeah, it's doing a little subnautic here. And, uh, let's see. One or two. Now, do I have to make that an upgrade station? I don't know. Let's see if it's here. No, that's the ultra tank. Ah, it's the equipment. It's water filtration suit. Yeah, what, what is it? Uh, Oyasume? Or Oyasumi? Clean, drinkable water for free. And let's see, where will we find our ship? I put it here somewhere. Oh, in the moon. So it's charging. All right, did we get it charged up? That's why the power was going down. I, I was wondering why, but it's because this moon pool. Huh. All right, let's find out what those crystals have. After I get it. Oh, I forgot. I need to do that before I think about it. One last time for this. this. Well, I don't know how much the still suit will help with the hydration, but it'll at least reduce the drain on it for sure. So. Resources, sustenance, water, filtered water. Let's get to them. Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Matane.
Alright, 250 meters till our destination of... Well, the, the gulch, I guess. Then you have to go down. These things right here, uh, they don't hurt you usually. I'll show you how to... You've not seen this one. These always uh, trip me out. Well, they do, literally. Because what they do is they hypnotize you. <laughs> and uh, then, you know, if you can imagine if you're in a, a cave and you're low on oxygen or whatever, this would get you lost and, like, all the radars pointing in random directions, so you're totally messed up. Yeah. yeah, see you later. See you later. Yes. below here. And I can't remember if it was this way. Yeah, I think so. Of course, I forget every time. <laughs> Alright, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was not. Let's try that again. Let's go this way. So it's nighttime, so it looks a little different. Mm-hmm. All right. I think we've made our wrong turn again. <laughs> I need to put a subsequent beacon, or not su supplementary beacon down here. Because I don't know how I can miss it. Alright, pilot's less known position. Maybe I was going right the first time and I just tricked myself. Easy to get lost down here. Hmm. Hmm. -hmm. Alright, something. Got riled up behind me there. Oh, ouch. Now, see, these guys, they're not bad. These are like uh, filter feeders. They're giant whales or whatever. Kind of like a whale shark. But they don't hurt you. All right, well, you uh, you have a good one there, Chell. Uh, see you later. I'll try not to get lost. Down we go again. Down we go again. Yeah. Nice. They, they do look nice. Even the ones that are mean look nice. <laughs> anyway, have a good one, though. And uh, hopefully your weekend gets here sooner than later. Right? Alright, so... Following this, go back around, and I will head over here into the chamber of the Shadow Leviathan. Now we just have to, not this one, I guess it's the next one around here. And we'll go over and down there. And there's supposedly some alien technology that I need to be finding. And I'm not sure what it is, but we will find out if I don't get eaten first. So, with that said, <clears throat> I'll have my uh, electrical defenses out because this thing is quiet until it got gotcha. you. Is it Coke here? <sighs> All right. Where were we? That blue stuff right there down there is a uh, kyanite, by the way. You use that in some real depth uh, heavy things, but I've got a lot of it already, so I don't need to worry about more. They really, uh, it's a lot harder to find in the first game. Okay, now that is the Shadow Leviathan. And it's gonna come for me. 
but I saw him coming. Might not be so lucky next time. All right, we're at 580 meters. Okay, so we do need to be conscious about our depth here a little bit. But uh, at least we don't have to worry about oxygen because, oh my goodness. Like you come down here with two extended tanks and you're still going to be hurting for oxygen. And I don't even think it uh, reduces the efficiency, but it feels like it sometimes. All right, I think I'll park it myself over here. Put on this shelf. And see if I can get where I need to go. All right, we'll use the uh, sea glide so we have our little oxygen uh, better. And let's see if uh, what's her face. Uh, not well. What is the PDA called? Does the PDA have a name? I don't know. I do have an alien consciousness called uh, Alan in my head, but <laughs> I don't know if the PDA has a name. I should ask. Okay, see, look, yeah. dangerous. Hmm, what did I pick up there? Oh, oh, that's how that works. All right, it's reclaimed water, but it costs food. But you know what? I don't, I don't mind that so much because I can just use my thermo knife to get food. I'll, I'll demonstrate here. Just sneak up on him. Bam! Nice cook. And there you go. Now, I don't hate, or I don't like how this uh, takes up so much inventory, but, you know, whatever. It's don't, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, as they say. You can always drop the water if you don't need it. But you can't pick it up out of nowhere if you do. <laughs> Even though you are in the middle of the ocean. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Okay. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, alright. All right. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. That's not a good problem to have. <laughs> alright, did he, uh, did I lose him? Yeah. Alright, let's get back to the ship and get our oxygen sorted out. What's our uh, damage? Well, we didn't get damaged actually. We got away without a scratch. And a lot of times that does not happen. <laughs> so. Uh, Alright. Back at the game. And again, maybe I should make another beacon next time, though. Next time. Well, hold on, let's see. What is this, 600? So, uh, you could kind of skate here, but yeah, this is really a 600. And this is not meant for the sea truck to be here. I'll tell you that. Man. What's down here? More kyanite and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, we don't need that yet. Oh, man, I hate that sound. Uh. <laughs> Okay, this is where we were going. All right, 75. Oh goodness, we're like almost 800 meters. 750, whatever. Splitting hairs. There is definitely something of value nearby. It could help you build a micro. All right, these guys explode, but that one was slow on the take up, so we're all right. All right, yeah, alien stuff inbound. When you see that green, uh, those green pillars or whatever, it means you got alien. Oh, those are the uh, bad boys right there. So stay away from those. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh, this music is nice. Ah, uh, oxygen. 
me knife out. Hmm. Now let's what's down here now. One thing in this game you do have to watch watch out for is um, you can get stuck on the terrain quite easily. But uh, saving seems to fix it. I don't know if they put that in there as like a backup method, but you get stuck on the geometry quite a bit. Because uh, this was meant to swim most of the time, right? But still annoying. If they do another one of these games, I hope they'd fix that. But Because I think this is pretty much the same engine that they used for the first one. Oh, excuse me. And here's my uh, robot crab buddies. And what is this? The organs. Constituent parts. You construct bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Our oh, nice. designs provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. <laughs> noted. That's a polite way of saying, hey, shut up, human. <laughs> All right. The heart is a particularly complex centerpiece in this biological technological hybrid. There's blood nutrients throughout the body. Primary energy source. Brain. Oh, so it's like not exactly the same. Well, of course it's not the same. Uh, desperation or respiration and digestive. Okay. So it runs on electricity. Ooh. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, so yeah. Oh, that was kind of interesting. Uh, huh. So, what else do we need to build the architect? Just the uh, tissues and the ingredients for them, I guess. But okay, well that's good. We're we're pretty close to helping Alan out. Now, did I ever scan these things? I know they will attack you with like cutting torches or lasers if you uh, you mess with them. And I don't feel the need to do that, but okay. Well, that's cool. Was there anything else here? Not really. I mean, it's a cool thing to look at, but at the same time, I uh, wish they'd put a little bit more down here. The, just one thing to scan. I mean, it's cool as it was. All right, so anyway, let's get this out and we're gonna make a beeline for our ship here. If possible, oh, yeah, you could come down here with the uh, uh, the prawn suit and uh, grab a thing or two. It looks like some uh, quartz. I think that was uh, some uranite, but you can get that anywhere or a lot of places, I should say. Now, getting out of this thing is going to be a bit trickier than I had hoped, but we do have two tanks. So, yeah, what is this here? Man, that looks nice. Okay, that one already sprung on us, so yeah, that would have been a explosion to the face otherwise. So I'm glad I found it going that way than the other one. Now we do have to watch out for um, Mr. Uh, Shavio, uh, Shadow Leviathan Coon up here, but uh, yeah, we'll just kind of stay low. Yeah, I do like this kind of like operatic. Well, not operatic. What is that called? It's a. Uh, it's not a lot of game. I, another one I'd like it in is in the Deus Ex games, uh, especially the the reboots or not reboots, but like uh, Human Revolution and Mankind Divided. And Invisible War Two uh, has some of that. It's kind of just like chanting or whatever. It really adds a nice ethereal quality to it. And very seems highbrow, of course. Uh, all right. Well, let's re you know, let's go ahead and replace Body. that ruby that we used. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Now uh, grab some of this uranite because why not? Uh, hmm. And we'll switch our tank here, which was not completely full. It looks like. 
that's a uh, points uh, points docked for that on the preparation scale right there. Should have been a little bit more careful about that. It worked out this time, but it might not next time. So anyway, once we get in here, our inventory is saved. So let's do that. All right, let's see what Alan's got to say. I found two of the three components required for the construction of my corporeal form. This is as close as I have come to autonomy in a long time. You have such a way with words. <laughs> is that sarcasm? It was. You're learning. Hopefully, I will not have time to complete my study. <laughs> I was wondering, if you can transfer bodies, why was it important to find a cure when you were infected? Couldn't you just make a new body? As you can see in the components you have scanned thus far, the yeah, Kikara was everywhere, so. Biological and mechanical parts. The tissues you have scanned were developed from the DNA of 27 separate alien species. 27? That seems greedy. And oh, wouldn't that mean oh. that anything that infects a body you've manufactured can potentially learn how to infect all those other species? Yes. That is why a cure was imperative. Uh, everything has a downside. <laughs> you can't have something for nothing, apparently. Alright, let's go ahead and drink that. And uh, we'll fry up this fish here when we get back with a laser beam. Man, I bet it tastes bad, but I want to have a laser fried fish someday. I don't even like fish that much. <laughs> but I want to... Okay. Oh. You know, theoretically, it should be possible to fry a chicken tender with lasers. I'm just saying. Warning. Maximum depth oh. reached. Hull damage imminent. Alright, let's go back to our base here. Man, if I... If I... Uh, you do... It would be a lot easier to do it indirectly, let me tell you that, though. I mean, just use, like, use a CO2 laser to heat a vat of oil, but... Then it's like... Alright, buddy, I got your number. If you try to mess with me, I'll get you. Dude, what is up there? Now, this would be like ballsy as hell if I didn't have this uh, electricity, but. I mean, I guess there's not too much interest in that. Game. Hey, man. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> so nice. And I think you can kill him with that, but I don't need to. I just want him to get away from me, that's all. Do what you want, just stay away from me. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, 71%. So when we do surface up, and uh, before we go look for uh, uh, Marguerite, I think, and I guess that'll be our next uh, step. We'll uh, charge up the moon pool. So I'll just, you know, I won't even bother cooking them here. I'll just grab some fish. And uh, we'll just eat up there. Uh, how are we doing on battery? Let's, let's check if we had another battery sitting up here. Welcome aboard, Captain. We did. And I hate to leave it with nothing, though, but... is what it is. We'll go ahead and put our uh, extra ion cube here in our uranite. Nickel. We get more of that later. Silver. I'll probably regret that. Whatever. <laughs> Alright. Going up again. But uh, the game is so much more exciting now that you can go down to 650 meters because... It beats the hell out of searching for spiral plants for two hours at a time, one week at a time. <laughs> uh, oh, it's much nicer. Anyway. Uh huh. All right. Wow. The, this thing eats two batteries kind of faster than you might think. Uh, you know, actually, I'm kind of curious. Do I have uh, both, both with the cell in them? 38% on that one. Okay. Yeah, I do have both cells. All right, so this way. No, not that way. This way. And uh, 
try to make a better note of where I am. So coming up here, you go through that lower, it's, it's low arch with a branch above it. And also, I really want that c container module, but you know, you can't have everything. Alright, let's try to get back to that and then kind of retrofit, or not retrofit, but retro navigate. Backtrack, I guess you would call it. So you go down there and then you head that direction. Toward under the arc. Not that way, I guess. Is a better way to Oh shit! Okay, it's one of the cool dudes, but you know, they still are big. Uh, <laughs> damn, I felt that in my heart. All right, let's go to our pilot base here. Get a charge up. Avoid the uh, weird dude. I mean, they're fun, but annoying too. If you're in the wrong situation. Otherwise, it's like, whatever. Now that will explode at some time, so you don't want to go over... See, watch this. Any moment now. Yeah, see? Where it goes up like that? It's called a purple vent. You don't want to be above it. I mean, it won't kill you, but it'll do a bit of damage. I mean, it will kill you if you're on low health, of course. Obviously. Alright, we'll get out of our moon pool and let this charge. And how we're we doing on our battery? Probably uh, marginal. Yeah. So let's go ahead and hit them with that. Let's see. Plus four. Plus, uh, so that one. And I'll go ahead and uh, I'll have a spare water on us. I'll drink the other one. Uh, go ahead and have some food here. Now, you'd think you could, like, well, you can cure it with salt, right? But you'd think you'd make it like a, a, a pasteurized sealed paste or something. Which doesn't sound appetizing, but it'd keep longer. All right. So our coffee was refilled here. Gotta have that. Our laser cutter does not have a battery. Well, all right, I tell you what, I'll put it here at our habitat builder and I'll put the battery in there. And while it won't be as convenient, we will save on a spot. So I think that's that's worth it. It's worth a little bit of inconvenience. Uh, more water, nice, I guess. All right. So, what was I looking for up here? Nothing in particular on these bad. Well, I'll go ahead and take this power cell and charge it up. Man, I really want that prawn suit, I'll tell you what. Because then I could. Well, I get my mine on, all that other good stuff. I'll come over here. Alright, that one is mostly charged. This one is fully charged, so I'll just swap it out. I'll throw this back in the... You know what? I will keep it on me, actually. Uh, oh, and I need to get this oxygen filled up. You know, it's, it's like, well, waste another slot. But when I get that container going, it might behoove me to keep a couple of these in the, you know, in the trunk or whatever, because <laughs> that'll get you out of a jam. And uh, as far as I go, I don't know, there's nothing more satisfying than being in a bad situation and having the right tool that you prepared for to get you out of it. That's one thing that I, uh, I try to do in, uh, in my life as much as possible. Be prepared for uh, weird situations. So I got all sorts of random crap in my car that has got me out of trouble. You know, it might be a few years between uses, but you know, sometimes or, or people like have a, a dead battery or whatever, and I'll always have the jump for them. So things like that. 
to the, you know, because I like to. My dad taught me that kind of thinking. Just be ready for whatever happens. You can't be ready for everything, of course, but that's where improvisation comes from, or it comes in. You gotta be able to think on your feet, too. Uh, let's see. Alright, now, uh, quantum locker might be a good thing. And I don't want to waste these right here. But you can dismantle things that you make out of them, so it's kind of a freebie. Uh, do I... What is, as far as batteries go, are there, uh, do we have a quantum power cell discovered? Ah, oh, we do. So I need... Uh, Ion batteries and a wiring kit and silicone rubber. So gold, silver, lithium. I might have left all my silver down there, actually, unfortunately. Uh, we should have a little bit of gold and uh, lithium, though. Now uh, we have silver, we have lithium, we have gold, and an ion cube. Alright, buddy. Let's go ahead and make a couple of these bad boys, shall we? Uh huh. And a uh, silicone rubber here, of course. Another ion cube. Oh, and a wiring kit, which would mean two more silver unless we already got one sitting around. We do have one. All right, we didn't need that much lithium. All right, so we'll go here. Let's make us an ion battery. Hit. All right, now I can go ahead and up. I'll still keep it on me, just in case, just in case. All right, let's put that silicone rubber back if we're not going to need it, though. That water is nice. It's 20, so go ahead and drink it. Oh, no, that just put it in because we were in the locker mode. No sense to hold on to it, really. All right. And that, eh, it hurts hunger, but like I said, you can just stab a fish with a thermo knife and not worry about that, so... How are we doing on that? Now that is eaten through our fish quite quickly. And I didn't notice the mineral detector didn't have a battery either. Uh, all right, tell you what, let's make another ion battery if we got the materials. I think we do. Let's see if I can find two, okay, we got two silver here. Two silver. You don't need two silver for that, you just need one. You need silver, gold, and lithium, and an ion cube. So let's go ahead and make another ion battery. Pop the regular one out of our, um, our cutting torch here. And uh, put the ion one in there, because this thing eats batteries like you wouldn't believe. And uh, we can just uh, pop over here with our mineral detector, which I don't use that much, honestly. I mean, if I had to get rid of this tool, I think that would be it. But, you know, if you if you have it, then you have it. And it'll hold a battery, so. Not really a bad thing. Uh, as far as everything else goes, let's grab another fish to put in here. And swap our battery out here. I didn't mean to do that. And <clears throat> I guess I'll repair it while I'm up here. Ah, such nice repairs. All right, it's fixed. Nice. That barely uh, touched the battery, so I like that. 
Uh, not yet, but I will investigate what kind of modules we can be having on there. Uh, actually, you know what? While we're waiting for it to charge, I think, uh, well, one little thing I will do first. Go ahead and swap the, uh, I'll go ahead and swap the, uh, good battery for the ion one, because it's, it's already charged. And, uh, put this other one up. One of the other ones up. Let's see how we're doing on that. Decent, decent, not great though. All right, but anyway, uh, power cell, put it up. Uh, water, we're still all right. Water, oxygen, good, good, good. All right, so let's think here. If we were doing this, what kind of module would we want? So a fabricator module would be my first guess on the uh, C truck. So you do have to disengage it every time you uh, go into a moon pool, which is going to be annoying, but whatever, right? Camera drone, HUD chip. I've never used a scanner room, I'll be honest, but it might be something I look into. But I've got the horsepower upgrade, uh, I do believe. I do not have the gas torpedo. Oh, but that's for each one. And no, that's for the prawn suit anyway. Thermal reactor is only for the prawn suit. Prawn suit. Storage module. Oh my goodness, I need that so bad. But uh, fabricator module is plasteel, computer chip, and lead. Oh, we're gonna need more table coral. We're gonna need more table coral. And lead, to be honest, so. Uh, we will be back in that deep area again. Everything needs so much lead. Wow. And plasteel is not a surprise, but... Computer chips and uh, advanced wiring kits. Uh, that, that one would not be too bad, but I don't really need the aquarium module, I don't think. Uh, and that we won't need till our prawn suit gets here. But yeah, that's our next guess, I guess. So computer chip would be... What, well, table coral and gold and copper wire. So table cores are big hold up there. And uh, I'll, I'll try to grab one little fish here to put in that because I think we, I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to run out on me. But after that, oh, and I guess I, well, I, I got glow sacks here. What is this here? Gel sacks spores. Okay, so that's that's the deal with that. Well, I'll just put them here. And then I'll grow some more of those. And I can I could cut more of those, but I don't need too much more spiral plant after all. Cuz uh what what kind of other suit upgrades? I might need one for the booster tank maybe, perhaps. Um got fins and all that. Got the still suit. Got the rebreather. So yeah, not too much else. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. You get stuck on the geometry, but you can just pop right off right now. Not every time, but this time. All right, so that, that battery is charged, and that's not our iron cell as far as I know. This is an ion cell though, and it is, see, 1000 versus, uh, what, 100 or something? Or 200, but then again, that takes uh, two ion cubes, or two, yeah, two ion cubes. So they're not they're not too easy to come by. Uh, all right. Anything else? Oh, that booster tank wasn't even for oxygen. That's just for uh, speed boost. Uh, I don't want to waste. Well, that's not too expensive, I guess. I want to do some reading before I do that one, though. All right, we already got that one going. Reactor rod. Not that I'm going to build one right now, but what is involved in building a nuclear reactor on that? So just plasteel advanced wiring kit, which, which requires more table coral, so... And lead, obviously, because, you know, shielding. 
All right, so I guess table coral is our uh, our kind of a big thing right now. But rather than doing more research gather or resource gathering right now, I think what I'll do is I'll try to uh, I'll go to Delta and try to figure out which way Shell is. Not Shell, but, uh, Marguerite. Let's see. About a kilometer east, and there is no. You know what? Actually, I kind of just want to clear that one out because that's been bothering me for a minute. But I won't do that quite yet. routing. Uh huh. East. Where is east? How about this down here? It's probably a sea glide bit, right? Or a sea truck. Yeah, sea truck. So it'd just be titanium. And that guy I I kind of want to get some correction. He's annoying right here. Annoying. That's sulfur. Oh, you know, that's where I've died before. So uh, I will reclaim, reclaim my lost property, which has been sitting here this whole time, apparently. I mean, it's worth it just for the copper. I mean, copper is kind of annoying to find sometimes, you know. Yeah, cool. Alright. We're not doing too bad on space. Now, it fills up quickly, though. I have to tell you. That guy's cool. They can dig up some nice stuff. I guess if I were looking for lead or something, I might check him out. Alright, Delta Station. Where are we going? Man, again? Seriously, dude. Alright. More water. I guess I might as well drink it, huh? Kind of weird that it works even when you're in a ship. Like, where is it getting the water? Well, I think you know. <laughs> Alright, I'll, uh hazard to check on the options here and see if I can uh, subtitles yeah I like subtitles cool display advanced okay well we don't need to worry about that too much really what I'm looking for is uh, I wish I knew where the compass was is that an up or maybe that's part of a scanner thing? Meets me. Hmm, though, no, I don't know. Alright, anyway, I'm just gonna go I'm gonna go until I find uh something on the surface. Man, this guy, he wants it again, doesn't he? I won't give it to him. Last time I did go to a place that seemed to have something going on, but ah, I wish they would just give me a compass. I could look up the coordinates for it, which I might in a little bit, but I'll just do a little bit of cruising here. <sighs> Tower is kind of nice. Been up on there last time. 
There's a lot of areas that you kind of go by and then you come back later. And it's like finally you have a purpose to be there. Because this is where we first found her, uh, Marguerite, that is, but. Alright, this guy. Alright. Right now, what I'm just doing is kind of tracing the island, which is not what I meant to be doing. I don't think. Now, that looks kind of like a. Uh, like an area I might want to be, and the distance could be right. Because that's the. the uh, well, that, is that quite a kilometer, though? I don't know. Probably about half a click. Eh, maybe not. We'll check it out. Anyway, I might I might uh swing by the old skate pod and see if I can find any materials in there that I might want to pick up that I haven't uh gotten in a little bit. This area was cool. Go find some ribbon plants out here. Of course, I don't need any right now. I do like the creep vine stuff. I might even just, uh, I might try to grow some of that at, uh, in my grow box at the, uh, Ford Base Pilot. Because you need that often enough for, you know, fiber or rubber or whatever. Lubricant. And I do find it interesting to know how they have the escape pod under the water in this game, but on the first one it was floating on top of the water. But either way. Is this where we were meant to go? I don't think so. Alright, where's Delta? 800 and... or no. Okay, so we're in the wrong place. That's not a kilometer by any stretch of the imagination. I wish the draw distance were a little bit better so I could kind of get an idea where I'm going. Alright, tell you what. Does she have a... No. Well, dang. All right, logs and communication, personal log, mischievous monkeys. Cool, we talked about them. What's up here? Like I need to say which one. <laughs> and what the hell is she doing on this planet? Isn't it exactly a vacation spot? Huh. Definitely heard of Altaria. Yeah, that's Marguerite, of course. Uh, man, I wish I knew what was going on in the story. Oh, wait, no, we can go here. Alright, Altera. Uh, about a kilometer east of position up on an iceberg. Well, well, you know, maybe. Maybe. It's kind of icebergy. Tell you what, I will uh, investigate here. Just out of meanness, because I don't think I've actually spent much time up here before. And it is quite cold. What is this? It's a fish. It's food now. Alright, anything here worth having? And perhaps not. Uh, there's something under here, though. Maybe. Bladderfish. Okay. Which, you know, they they have some calories in them. Let's find out, actually. That's 60, you know. And, you know, if, if you're getting enough water from your... Um, okay, those things will freeze you, by the way. I'm pretty sure. Uh, if you're getting enough water from your uh, still suit, then might as well just cook them, right? You don't have to worry about it as much. Because, like, it's dropping a pretty consistent amount of water. More than I'm using, anyway. So. Yeah, I think the water problem is, uh, if not totally solved, mostly solved. 
Alright, this is interesting. This is where we started the game, I think. Let's warm up here a second. Alright, without toasting up. Yeah, I think we landed in the thingy, but I'll take that for sure. Yeah, this is our <laughs> this is what we landed in, I think. Uh, and the escape pod actually went, ended up somewhere else. So yeah, this is not it, but it's kind of cool coming back here and looking anyway. Quite a splashy entrance. And, yeah, you can't really get much out of them. But going back in the water, which is, I guess, what well, is paradoxically warmer, but at the same time, if it's cold outside, <laughs> even if it is very cold, you don't want to jump in the water, right? <laughs> because that's a good way to die. Because the heat capacity of the water is just so much higher. It'll just suck it right out of you. That snow is kind of annoying. All right, shall we jump? Let's do it. And the, what's the water temp here? It does not say until you're in the ship. That's too bad. There's probably a lot of little upgrades that I could do that uh, would make things easier. But All right, well, uh, since we don't have a good bearing on where uh, Marguerite is, I guess what I could do is uh, I could look it up, or I could check out that alien distress call that I've been wanting to look out forever. That has uh, been just a little bit too deep constantly. So let's do that. Let's get that uh, knocked off the plate here so we can have a cleaner uh, <laughs> field of vision, too, anyway. Just kind of want to help Alan out a bit. Man, I don't know why, but the hunger bar seems to be going down a lot faster than I, I have noticed before. But maybe that's just because uh, as time's flying when you're not <laughs> searching for a spiral plan, huh? All right, so that's 470. Now, I do remember that it wasn't obvious where the entrance was. That's why I didn't find it last time exactly, but. All right, yeah, 100 meters, no problem. I think initially you could go 150 meters and then 300 and now 650. So you, I guess it gives you uh, 150 at first and then uh, 250. And I think the max is like 900 meters in the sea truck. Which is quite a lot of water, Sean. Honestly, but uh, not not as deep as this game can go. Now, what is that's t oh table coral? Man, I was telling you we needed that. Yeah, every one of these bad boys I see, I'm grabbing. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm just gonna chill out here for a second, see if I can see any more. Because where there's one, there'll be a few more usually. But uh, for chips and. Uh, Advanced wiring kits and that sort of thing. You definitely, you definitely need table coral. And, uh, well, make hay when the sun shines, as they say. That's three right here. I want to have, uh, well, as many as I can get, really. Within reason, of course. Because it takes about uh, one or two to make each chip, which... Not usually the way it goes. Usually you just need one or something, but these two are the table coral for whatever reason. Have I seen I must have scanned it. Sea truck fragment. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Let's see, can we get any more fragments here? Let's see, that's uh, that's a six right there. That's pretty good. That's three. Uh, Peter chips. But uh, if I could just get it solved for the foreseeable future, I would like to do that. <laughs> so I will. That's seven right here. Because they're not too, uh, they're not in many places, but I guess when you're in the right spot, you'll find a bunch of them. But uh, most of the time, you will not see these very often. I, I, th I think eight will probably do us pretty all right. So we'll go back to the sea truck. Warning. And I continue 30 on. Seconds of oxygen remaining. Well, how much inventory space? I'm tempted to go for that one, but I'll leave it. 
just uh, what, what what would you call this area really? I guess I could always look it up. It's near the start area, and it's not, it's pretty visually distinctive. So yeah, that's nice. That that solves a lot of our issues right there. Let's just aim for thing. All right, do we? Yeah, we got our other oxygen tank filled up. I surely have. How did I miss this? Okay, so I have been here. Wait, then I'm thinking of a different one. Cause that's where I first met. Uh, that's where I first met Alan right there. So. Uh, I'll just go ahead and hide that, I guess. Since I've already explored the possibilities there. Not much in there for me anymore. Uh, or Alan, for that matter. I think another thing is you can't grow table core yourself, so that's probably why. It's, it's kind of rare. Uh, Alright, so that dude. Yes, yeah, like when it rains it pours, I guess. There's 84. Yeah, we're doing alright. I can hear him on my butt. <laughs> yeah. And I I have got a bit of audio delay on mine, because uh in order to sync everything up, I think I have to put like 800 milliseconds, so I, I hear everything a bit later than y'all do. Oh, relation to the video, that is to say. Uh, well, 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 okay, that's that. All right, Western pilot position. I guess uh, Alien Artifact Q59 is our next target. And that might be on the way to the deep sea base. I'm not quite sure. Look, ribbon plant. It's like normally I'm scrounging for ribbon. Well, not anymore so much that I found uh, the deep sea base has got a bunch near it. But used to, I would have to like hunt for that pretty hard. Well, plus I'm kind of more on the ion battery paradigm kind of deal now. But. All right, we already did this. Kind of reminds me of Outer Wilds a little bit. Just this uh, gulch here, like on the Ash Planet. Kind of reminds me of that. Let's see, what module would this be? Just a regular sea truck. Yeah, sea truck. Ninety-four percent. Ninety-four percent better. These ion power cells are quite a treat. <laughs> I gotta tell you. Uh. It's uh, so it's close, but it's well, it's one of the tunnel network deals, kind of. That music sounds a little bit ominous right now. All right, now tell me now, how do we? Let's see what's in here. I think I've been in here before. This has got like a volcano with some diamonds or some shit. Yeah, this is not what we're looking for. I mean, it is a nice area if you're looking for diamonds, I guess. <clears throat> as far as what I'm looking for, though. Not here. Now, what I could do is go over on the other side and check there, but... Okay, now this is a little bit more promising. I, I You know, it probably leads to the same place, if I'm being honest. But I do remember there being a lot of... Like uh, other materials here. Let's see. Where's the uh, where's the green? 
that way. It's 250 meters below us. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> We get lost in here now. Diamonds, rock rubs. Toasty. Oh, that is cut. This is interesting. I bet Altera was exploring this alien thing. I'll bet you that's what happened here. Hmm. Yeah, this is a nice place to be exploring. I just hope I don't run out of oxygen. And if there, well, all right, here's a thermal plant, I guess. Yep, thermal plant fragment. Ah, here we go. Oh, finally, man. I've been looking for that. Hell yeah. Do we have all the uh, fragments and such? Actually, I don't want to waste time with oxygen running out as it is. Is there anything over here for me? No, no. Uh, well, there's a PDA. Uh, Alright, they found the Aurora. Ow. Okay, so those guys do kill you if you uh, piss them off too much. Normally they're pretty docile though, so... Uh, I'll grab me a cheeky bite to eat right here. I don't want to waste oxygen doing it, but... Alright, where'd you go? Go ahead and consume some water. And two of them might as well. Alright, now there was an oxygen plant here I saw. Won't worry too Warning. much about the rubies. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, yeah, this is definitely if you were looking at a research of prawn suit <laughs> where he would go. Parvin, can I hey, get you Fred. to sign off here? What is all this? I don't know. Some kind of measuring equipment? Lil said she'd send someone over to set it up later. Ah, alien science nonsense. I wouldn't say that. You should ask her to show you some of her findings. It's pretty interesting stuff. There might really be someone down there. You ask me. The scientists have too much control over here. What? I'm serious. Look around you. This mining facility extracts every mineral your scientists use to make their equipment. Their bases, their scanners, even your little sea trucks. I wouldn't call them little. Do you know the name of a single person who works down here? Well, I know you, Parvin. Ah, tell Lillian she's wasting her time. There's nothing down here but workers, and we already know we don't spark her curiosity. Technology acquired. Teleportation module. Ooh, now that sounds spicy. Oh man, tell me there's an oxygen source here. New technology acquired. I don't know, folks. I might die down here, actually. Which would be a bummer and a half. Alright, I'm going to try to get out of here. I'll just follow this right here. If I see an oxygen plant, I grab it. If I don't, uh, then I don't. 
grab an oxygen plant. Just so I can get in the sea truck. And I might come down and back. I don't know. I'll wait for a prawn suit, probably. Can I get out of here this way? Uh, probably not. No, I would rather not. Alright, so I'll just go back this way. Alright, but that's still good. And there's uh, some cool stuff down here, I'm sure, but... Uh, who's got time for that, right? Thermal plant fragments are just everywhere, I've noticed. Alright, let's go up here. I've got 50 seconds to get out of the crack here. And I think I got the time, but... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, bros. Just depends on that if I get vaporized first. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Fuck, 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 fuck. fuck. Shit's getting serious now. Come on, come on. Ugh, that was close. <sighs> Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> Ugh. All right. Let's get in that sea truck and lock in our gains here. We made a good haul, I think. Alright. Inventory is saved. Hell, I'm gonna save the game, too. <laughs> Alright, so that's the prawn suit sorted. Well, except for the materials, of course. And it's gonna need lead, of course. Uh, but what else sex you need? So we'll just kind of chill here for a second. All right, power, uh, power cell, uh, which we have, and, and uh, class steel, easy. Computer chip, not problem. And ammo glass, we'll need quartz for that, and well, lead, I guess. Uh, and lead, we're just gonna have to. Uh, Yeah, lead and diamond. All right, we got enough diamond, I think. But if not, uh, it's not too hard to find. Let's go ahead and drink some of this water here. Yeah, they really uh, make you swim in that water. And I'll drop that and eat it. See uh, if this if this one might have any lead in it. With silver, well, I can still use silver because I used a bit of it for the wiring kits and stuff. But um, okay, so now is the question: Do we want to build our? Uh, as far as materials goes, should I have my more of my stuff down in the bottom area or up top here? And I'm kind of inclined to say up top because that. That crystal area didn't really pan out as far as having interesting stuff to go to in the future. It's just kind of bland. I'm surprised I haven't died on this stream yet. Uh, of course, knock on wood, right? <laughs> I actually better do it. Let's see. But let's go to the forward base pilot and recharge our uh, ship here and kind of regather our bearings. Or do a little bit of exploring first. Because uh, I know it's got to be one of these directions. It might be easier to see if it didn't snow. That's for sure. And there's our mobile vehicle bay dock, or mobile vehicle uh, 
constructor, dock, whatever. So we're gonna make our prawn suit and then we'll just drop down and it'll be great. Actually, I will do that. I will uh, go ahead and put some of this stuff up. It's just temporary, so. And I think I have the preponderance of my diamonds up here anyway. Do I have enough uh, quartz, however? Actually, you know what? I might even have most of the materials already. Except for lead. I'm kind of short on lead. Always have been. Alright, that is fine. So let's put up, uh, actually, let's go ahead and make some computer chips, shall we? Okay, we just ran out of fish. Or no, we, we did or didn't? Question mark. Uh, alright, so... Copper wire, cool. All right, I need gold for that. Gold is uh, gold is not too hard to come by. Look at all this damn. I'll go ahead and put this module up because we don't need it yet, but we will need it. Um, sulfur we don't need yet. I almost should. I feel like keeping a list of stuff we keep around here. Uh, let's see. Gold. Arm. There's look, two of them right there. Let's go ahead and make these computer chips here. Let's get a couple of them rocking and rolling. Because I don't think... I can't think of another single thing that you use table coral for. You just need a computer chip. I will need another copper wire. But I can make it, so... Now that's two computer chips sorted, and you put one of those with a wiring kit to make an advanced wiring kit, by the way. Uh, so glass, lead, and diamond. We'll have to see if we got lead. All right, but what what what, it, uh, what went in a prawn exactly? How much lead do we need exactly? Just one, so not bad. And plasteel is easy to come by. We got plasteel out the ass, so. I think our holdup is gonna be lead right now. There should be a few diamonds up here. It's lithium, I bet. Yeah, I, telling them apart at first glance is kind of hard. Diamonds, yeah, out the wazoo. That, yeah, lead, lead is our issue. I'll go ahead and put this table core up though. Uh, and I'll uh, eh, put it at it. Just list it. lithium is just titanium, or uh, plasteel is just titanium and lithium. All right, so uh, we're on the hunt for lead now. And in order to find that, uh, one good place was that place we were actually just were, I, I imagine, just hanging out near those uh, those big shrimp deals. But other than that, I... Well, how are we doing in our moon pool here? I always make that mistake. Just swim up to it. You don't have to hit A. Uh, 70, well, that's hell. And it's fully charged? Okay. Ouch. <laughs> uh, let's see. Alright, that's more lithium. Lithium is, uh, one of the things that I don't ever seem to run out of. So I won't worry about that. Sulfur, you know, uh, sulfur. I'll, I'll go ahead and grab this uh, torch, so because I, I actually don't know if I had enough. I think it needs two for a glass piece, and I'll need a depth upgrade module for the bronze suit. But I'll worry about that after I get it built. All right, let's head back to our thing here. So I guess the easy route for lead would be, well, it's never easy to find lead, honestly. And my health's kind of low, so I'm worried about that, um, whatchamacallit. Let's see if I can grab some more copper here. Never can have too much copper. Nah, I can just throw it out later, right? What? Copper? 
Ah, uh, good. Love copper. Some more quartz while we're at it, so we can make that glass. And also, uh, fabricator module needs three lead, so we are gonna uh, just grab as much lead as we can. So I will go deep, actually. It might be worth it if we're gonna have uh, that much necessary or need for it. All right, you could get copper there. You could get me in. Oh, actually, hey, that's what it's for. Uh, we don't use this much, but we're gonna have a use for it now. Uh, let's assign it over here. Let's see where would we find some lead? Galena would be where you might find the lead. Calavera is gold. Metal salvage, nickel ore, lead. Mm-hmm. Lena. Might make sense to get deeper before I find that. And actually, let's get some oxygen while we're thinking about it. Because I was kind of just doing a lot of speculation here and swimming. think this is it. And actually, this is probably another thing where the scanner room might come in handy. Uh, I wish they had a better way of finding it. Wait, did I get a, did I get a ping? Let's get back in here. Something's coming for me. One way or the other. This looks like it could be. No, that's Argentine. Or Argentine, probably. Argentine. Well, I'll let that titanium lay. Because titanium is a diamond dozen. Oh, what's this? Could this be our scanner module? Could our victory finally be at hand? Or our not scanner module, but... No. God damn it. Still hoping for a container module. One of these days. Alright. Yeah, I, I won't. I try not to get distracted by you know copper and other things. Let's see what lead, no, uranite, kyanite, limestone, galena. All right, let's just uh, cut the BS and get back down brass tacks <laughs> or whatever you call it. Uh, we'll get down to uh, get down to our Ford base. Or not. Well, yeah, I guess it is a forward base, but uh, our deep base. Because I know there's lead down there sometimes. Might not be the best place for it, but you'll find it. And we can uh, chill around those rock curves, too. And they'll, uh, they'll have a chance of uncovering it. Just not too close, though, because apparently they like to the heat. Avoid staring at that thing. This thing's trying to kill me. Alright, now... Are we in the right spot? Honestly, couldn't tell you. I think so, though. This looks kind of... Well, it all looks familiar. That's the point of getting lost, huh? Yeah, but that oxygen plant tells me what on it. And see, it's like, wait, no, this, no, this is Calavera. I think. Yeah, that's gold. Yeah, we've been using a bit of gold though recently, so might as well. Oh, that's titanium, man, titanium, boo. Actually, the trick deal would be uh, getting that depth, uh, that prawn suit, a, a good depth module upgrade, and uh, that mining arm, and you could find some big old lead fragments and just go to town. So I'll probably find those before I find the uh, con the uh, container storage module. That's just the way life goes for me sometimes. <laughs> but, uh... Hmm. 
we'll go over here and find some lead. Get us a few fish too, because hunger's creeping back up. Drink this water while I'm at it, because it just stacks up. You know, having too much of something is you would It's not. A, it is a problem, but it's not. I don't know how to how, how else to put that. All right, so no Galena here. Can we find lead? Wish there was a better way to search for this thing. I think we'll ruby lead negative. Alright, lithium, I have two diamond metal, ruby lead, your night, night type, high night, pangling research. Limestone, Galena. Alright. We'll get down farther. I'll just chill out around these rock grub grubs for a little bit and see what they rest up for me. After I eat, of course. Let's see. This will be about a quarter. Ooh. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, that was a bad one. Yeah, well, we can hold off for now. And like I said, with these bladder fish, normally you wouldn't cook them and eat them, but I've got, I'm just well, literally swimming in water, uh, literally and figuratively. So, might as well just eat them. Oh! Man, I don't know why, but these guys are getting a lot more aggressive recently. Last time they weren't trying to attack me, but now... <laughs> I don't know why. Man, I might actually die. Might as well grab it. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Those, uh, those prawns or whatever, they are getting a little oxygen. bit aggressive. I wonder if that's like a or because I wronged him or something. Welcome aboard, Captain. Three health points left. That is... Yeah, wow. Let's go ahead and put these up. And just remember not to leave them when we come back. Let's go ahead and make this glass, though. What goes into a health kit? Just probably a fiber, which we don't have. Oh, and headlamp. And is that just like a forever thing, or...? I don't know, I'll, I'll look into that. Maybe it's a flashlight that you have to hold, so... And a tether tool. Yeah, yeah, that is the trick deal, buddy. We'll be rocking and rolling in that case. I wonder if, I hope it's not a one time shot, though. Alright, uh, six. So you do recover health slowly, slowly. But I need to get more uh, fish. So, uh, triops here. We'll just, we'll, we'll cook them inside. Rather than. It, you can, and if you don't want to just deal with that, but we're right here, so it's easier to just pick them up than it is to hunt them down. Let's see, this is, uh, oh, here we go. All right, there we go. There's our prawn suit sorted. So let's go ahead and 
eaten. I don't know if I want to come back down. Actually, if I can find more Galena on this, these walls here, that's what I'd like to do. I This uh, scanner tool missed it, apparently. Titanium, uh, whatever. You can always use it for something. But the range on this thing kind of sucks. I'd say. It's like I saw it before I even heard it. Alright, that's two. How are we doing on inventories? But yeah, we're doing fine, actually. Let's, uh, we see another fish. Let's go ahead and just knife it out here. We're not in an urgent rush anymore. Go ahead and eat this motherfucker. Seconds of oxygen remaining. All right, so what else do we need for that? We need a uh, plasteel, which. Oh, we actually had some lead. So now we've got three lead, which is enough for that. Ah, uh, it's like, ah, uh, but I want. No, I, no. Prawn suit every time. Uh, we'll need a power cell, which I have one. I have one. Uh, this computer chip. What else goes in here? So, computer chip, power cell, nemo glass, plasteel. So, we'll need uh, our glass here. Well, we already had enough glass, honestly. <coughs> Let's see if we can just get everything ready while we're here. Don't want to wire and kick quite yet. Nammo glass, uh, diamond. We need a diamond. And we have no diamond down here, but we've got scores of them up there, so. Not really worried about that. Power cell. We can take it up and charge it, why not? Doesn't do much good uh, down here. Actually, we'll use that one and make in our prawn suit because it'll just charge it up anyway. That's thinking with portals, friends. Uh, titanium ingot. And we, I guess if we got some lithium down here, we might as well make some plasteel, right? Plasteel. Two lithium for that. Okay, no problem. We got it. All right, let's go ahead and use that. Make our plasteel. All right, so that's everything but the enamel glass. And like I said, got diamonds all over diamonds up there. I'm surprised I don't have any down here, but uh, you know, whatever. It's just one of those things. I guess I might've just used them all. Anyhow, come over in here. Pop up here. Yeah, and just as soon as we got here, basically, we're leaving. <laughs> but we'll come down with something more uh, substantial. Uh, will we, though? I don't think we will, because we don't have the depth upgrade. So, that'll be, uh, that'll be another occasion. But we're getting better at finding our way down here, so... It's just a quick little thing. And once I get that teleporter module going... Uh, it won't help with the vehicles or anything, necessarily, but uh, as far as exploration goes, that is going to be, oh my goodness, that's going to be a boon to our cause here. Just being able to, like, go into a deeper spot that you can't normally with a sea truck or just, um, ah, man, and, and you're going to be able to carry a prawn suit with you, and, ah, uh, that's going to be nice. I wonder if that makes it subject to the depth uh, restrictions, though, the prawn suit. Can you... Will it damage the prawn suit if you take it deeper than it's normally uh, rated for, it, as long as it's on the uh, the sea truck? I'd be curious to find that out. And I guess uh, I, I guess I will find that out when I build that module. I will need a little bit more lead for that, however. Uh, and I only 
have three, which is enough for making the thing. But... Nice calaverite. Hey, right, gold, why not? We use it, we use it. And maybe the Galena will respawn next time there. I don't know, uh... You know, it's kind of embarrassing, but I really don't know how the rock respawning works, or if they even do respawn. I mean, obviously rocks don't respawn. I mean, they kind of do, but on like a very long time scale. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. But uh, as far as the game goes, that's what I mean. Because it'd be pretty easy to run out of stuff, especially if you like died in some dark corner or whatever. But those rock grubs, I think, are the renewable source. So Maybe we'll pop back in the moon pool here and probably repair before we come out again. Uh, actually, yeah. And by the time we get that, then we'll come on here with the, uh... Oh, what's his name? The prawn suit and Doc here. Oh, yeah, I was gonna repair. So, no need to climb the ladder. Or is there? There he is. Alright, so do that. I guess it matters which side you climb it from, maybe. Maybe because I was trying to climb it from the top before. Whatever. It just takes a while for me to do these things. I repair this thing. Bingo. Alright. Now we uh, go ahead and make our enamel glass. Titanium. Oh, and we'll grab this too, since we're going to be in there. And put in our power cells. Our good one, so we'll just use this crappy dead one. <laughs> but, you know, that's a that's thinking smart. Get this, make our enamel glass. Double check, make sure we got everything. We do. Alright, let's head up. All right, are you excited? I'm excited. And we'll find out what his default depth is. I'm, well, it's probably more than 150 meters, maybe uh, 300 or 250. All right, prawn suit. Hell yeah. I like how it's just floating. Where's the battery on this thing? There's power cell one. Power cell two is dead, but they have one in there, so. Let's go ahead and put our jump jet. Welcome to the prawn. Welcome aboard, Captain. There's like a grappling arm you can do. And, oh, this is nice. What I need to do is get an ion battery in this thing. That can wait. out of here. And take a bit of a hit, but whatever. And this just floats, unlike the prawn suit, which sinks. So that is one thing you gotta consider. Oh, and that's another thing, though. How am I gonna get up in there? I think we have enough, uh, I think we have enough propulsion. Yeah, you know, they probably built the maximum height of the moon pool because of that. There's our promise. But yeah, this thing, uh, you can punch fish in the face with it. Bang! Pow, right in the kiss. There you 
have it, friends. The prawn suit. I think we'll use this for our uh, our screenshot or whatever. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. She's beautiful. Alright, so upgrades. What do we need? Uh, that one, we already got a free one. I mean, that's cool. Saved a bit of nickel. Uh, propulsion cannon. We don't want quite yet. And the grappling arm, that is what we want. So we need benzene. And I think we found something. I, I know where it is about uh, to get that. But I'll double check the uh, the build material. We got the titanium, of course, lithium, no problem. Advanced wiring kit, uh, CPU, which we got an extra one. And um, wiring kit, which is just two silver, so no big deal. I had some copper wire, too. Maybe even gold. I don't have that research yet. The torpedoes, you know, I... Eh. Now this, we can build today. I uh, just need to go ahead and do that. Go ahead and put another bit of fish in there. So I need four diamonds. Wow. Not that I don't have them, but it's going to take most of them. Four diamonds, uh, three more titanium, uh, and a bit of lithium, I think it's it. Which don't have as much lithium up here as I thought I did, but it's easy to find. Uh, that, ooh. Ooh, and I'll, I'll make that too. So, uh, three titanium and a lithium, which I have. I sure do. And we are just making some progress on that right there. And uh, the depth module is enamel glass, which is lead and uh, glass and synthetic fibers. I do I have synthetic fibers? I did. Ah, oh, but I used them to make the steel suit. And that well, that's not too hard to come by. That's not too bad. So, all right, let's think about it again. I, and I'll have to double check on the synthetic fibers, but so Ruby, we've got. Probably three of them up here. Nimble glass, we got the materials, no problem. Synthetic fibers, which was ruby and a spy. Okay, so actually, I think we might be set already. Let's see, how many rubies do we have? They're not too bad to find. I got one here. Just one, actually. So that's not a today thing, I guess. on the upgrades here. Uh, drill arm and um, storage. I guess depth is the only one. The other one I'd get, have a uh, spot for. Oh no, that doesn't even take a spot. That's nice. Let's see, are we, are we charged? Hey, it charges pretty quickly at least. This will be our screenshot here. Yeah, there you go. The prone suit. She's a tough one. Let's double check though on that depth. 400 meters. So that's not too bad. But. All right, I was going to end the stream, but <laughs> damn it. I got to know. So let's go ahead and get our spiral plant here. We only need one of those for the, uh, the dealio. So if you, uh, you plant one, you place one, right? So you don't run out of things. 
We'll go ahead and use that. And I, I know I did see more rubies down there. Was that 400 meters? I don't know, actually. Hmm. Anyway, let's go ahead and make this uh, synthetic fiber here. And how much? Let's go ahead and make our enameled glass while we're at it, too. See, I, I have enough. Do I have enough quartz, actually? Am I, I might actually have to go down there. I got it down there, for sure. Or I could just drill some, right? Because I got that option now. Uh, let's make a beacon. Titanium. Oh, I have the glass here already, actually. So uh, let's grab another diamond. I need to be uh, gathering diamonds now because I am running low. Let's go ahead and make our enamel glass here. And, uh, no, I don't need that. I do want a beacon. No. Yes. How does that work? That's a deployable. Beacon. Ah, there it's simple. And what else? Oh, yeah, for this upgrade, we will need... Three rubies, and that's it. And I, I might have them down there. Ah, this is risky. This is risky, guys. Actually, I'm not going to. I, I, I don't know if I can get my prawn out of there. I won't, I won't do that until I can get the, uh, the module here. But I will go ahead and build the upgrade. And what is it involved in the grappling arm? Because that's really how you get benzene and well, what does benzene mean? Probably those uh, spore thingies, flowering spores, and I got a couple of those. And I know I got enough ribbon plants, or I can get them anyway. I know vaguely where to find this stuff. ahead and drink a couple of these waters while I'm thinking about it. That's minus 12 of the food. Yeah, let's see. So you go down here, excuse me, and uh, let's see, you take it down and then you turn yourself around and that's what it's all about. So that was not it. Let's go this way. Is this Galena or Calaverite or just uh, limestone? It's limestone. And eh, don't worry about it. No, we went the wrong way. I thought I remembered, but I did not. Now, another thing, I could go down there, because I bet that's, I think that's where you find the uh, flowering spore stuff is. I think you need two of them, and I've got probably two to make that benzene. Uh, was it this way? No, yes, maybe. Last known position. Yes, yes. Alright, so let's go right this time. Follow the uh, the weird branch thing down. We go there. So right, right. Uh, we're already in the wrong spot. Ah, uh, but there's a lot of titanium here. That's cool. If you were looking for such things. 
getting beat the hell up here. Quartz. Quartz is cool. Alright, let's see what's in here. This was a, uh, a propulsion arm or something, probably. Grappling arm fragment. Yeah, we don't need the titanium. If I uh, if I don't need it, I usually like to leave those kind of things just sitting there. More water. Ooh, nice. Oh, uh, all right. So that wasn't it. That was not it, gang. I almost want to put a second beacon. Honestly, I think. Okay, this looks a little more familiar. I don't want to hit that guy. Sea monkeys are nice now for whatever reason. Well, shit. Hmm. What about that? I still managing to get lost. Ah, you know what? I should put like some lights down. Rather than a beacon, I could probably just like put a, a stand light or something. Okay, that was not it, I'm pretty sure. But what if we went up top here and came around and saw nothing? We went down again and saw nothing again. Man, this is uh, annoying. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, this is it. This is it. We're good. We're good. Actually, and I need to be keeping an eye out for rubies here because there are some. This is this is if I were going ruby hunting, I would I would expect to find quite a lot here. Though I might check the thermal area too. There's gold, of course. But we're on the hunt for rubies. We need three of them, and I I've got a few down there. I have a feeling, but I don't know. Now, if there was like an upgrade where you could like see the up uh, your storage lockers in every base and have an inventory, now that my friends would be an upgrade that would be something I would want to have because you forget sometimes and there's a lot of backtracking involved is there anything here that I could have nickel ore okay yeah nickel's good I wonder if I dropped that or I just died or what kind of weird where you don't usually find nickel until depth that's greater than this one so I, I it's probably something I dropped or died or etc whatever it's good to have it back or have it for the first time, whichever the case may be. Maybe things don't respawn, I don't know. But uh, we'll find our rubies for sure. Like here, this way, I bet you'll find... Uh, there's a hey, right one. See what I tell you. So, need three. So we'll get a couple anyway. Lithium, I was actually kind of short on up there, which surprised me. Ah, look at all these rubies. Calaverite. I'm not really looking for gold, to be honest. But I'll keep it in mind. Thermal tank. I mean, they really want you to have that damn. Uh, more thermal plant constants, I'm sure. Let's have a little bit of extra ruby. So much gold, wow. Because you need to build a thermal plant, I imagine. Uh, lithium, let's grab it. Uh, are any Galena? No. Lithium, so much calaverite, though, goodness gracious me. But anyway, since we got what we needed, let's go, uh, Let's get in here and figure out what else we need to do. Or if we can surface already and just call that off. I do want more lead, but... Uh, I don't know if it's worth the trouble looking for it. But 
we'll just do it. Let's let's be analytical about it rather than ha uh, half had half ass haphazard. All right, benzene flowering spore. You know what? We'll grab our benzene if we got it down here. Uh, and I have a feeling we might not actually. Now that I think about it, <laughs> I got it confused with something. But anyway, so that and propulsion cannon we don't really want. That's a handheld one, not a prawn suit one. So that needs benzene, advanced wiring kit, or advanced wiring kit, no problem. Titanium, no problem. Benzene. So I, it's worth, I think it's worth at least looking. I think it's worth looking. And oh, well, since we have a chance to get another diamond here, let's do that. Because uh, we, we've been eating some diamonds pretty hard. Look at all these rubies. Whoa. I'm telling you, man. When it rains, it pours in this game. But I guess that's uh, that's to kind of train you to look in certain areas for certain things, of course. Have a bit more intuition about the organization of the ocean. I wonder. Uh, I mean, it's got to be the case, but like, are there caves like this in our ocean on Earth? Uh, this widespread? I'd be kind of curious. I mean, I know you, there's you know uh, divers who go caving all the time, but just like this huge expansiveness. Uh, is that something you find on Earth? That'd be kind of cool to check out. Especially if you could do it in a sea vehicle. <laughs> but yeah, the ocean is just deeply fascinating. Alright, where's our that base? There's the base. No moon pool down here, so we're just going to get out. And uh, look for those pods, if we have them down here. It may be that they're up there, or we just don't have enough. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, we have one. Okay. Um, damn. Well, there might be some in the other one, too. But I was going to make the depth module. Calorie intake recommended. Heard that? Let's get something. Yeah. All right, that's one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. All right, eat these up before they go bad. One, two. Vital signs stabilizing. Uh, have a water. Uh, let's not check that. Can we do it? We can do it. Oh my goodness, fellas, we got it. All right, we'll chuck that bad boy in there. Uh, for the grappling hook, though, we're gonna need uh, one more of those seed pods, advanced wiring kit. Do we have? I, tell me, I didn't leave the CPU down here. I did. <laughs> See, I would have to come back anyway. Uh, and that's just. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and get that wiring kit built up. That's just a silver and a uh, copper wire, maybe gold, perhaps. Let's find out. Right, for advanced wiring kit, you will need... Okay, yeah. No problem. Alright, so that's out of the way. So what else do we need? Benzene and titanium. Titanium. Don't even worry about it. We need one or more of those pods. So, well, do we though? And a ribbon plant. We can get the ribbon plant while we're here. Just right, literally right here. And the, uh, the seed pod was in those like weird caves that have like the the monkeys and the nests in them or whatever. It's kind of uh, kind of lightish, lightish brownish. I well, I could get some more lead down here. Let's see if uh, see if this ever respond or whatever. No, it does not appear that it has. But I'll do a little looking because I mean, if it, you find it here the first time, you'll find it again, perhaps. It seems to be how it goes. You'll find a little bit, and that's just a sign to keep looking here. So this is this might be uh, Galena, Argentine. 
Well, I did use a little bit of silver there, so might as well just. Yeah, we'll, we'll use it. We'll use it. We'll use it. Eventually. Uh, magnetite. Got that. Lithium. I could take some up there. We were a little bit shy on that. Uh, I really just want some lead, though. Too worried about quartz. All right, now we are in the den of the beast here, so got to keep an eye out. Let this fella do his magic. Could be silver, titanium, lead, gold, whatever. You just don't know. Don't let him punch you in the face, though. And silver. I'll take it. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, that guy is coming for me. Or is he? I don't know. I don't want to find out. All right, oxygen. Go ahead and eat that when we get back. All right, so lead was a uh, lead was bust. Lead was a bust, but we'll come down here with the prawn suit, and I bet we can find some juicy veins to tap into. So no worries there. We got one lead. We need two more, though. So, Dang, did we get that? Uh, did we get that built? We did. So let's go ahead and install that, and I think we'll call it. So you know, kind of sucks to come down here and have to go right back, but that's just the way it goes in Subnautica. And I can. Uh, do a little look and then see if I can find any recommendations on lead spots so I can get that sorted out. Find, you know, since we got that prawn in the drilling arm, we can probably get four or five at a pop, which will help. Because you need uh, you need a lot more lead than you think, but you don't need as much as you do, like, titanium, of course. And I guess the scarcity reflects, uh, reflects that. I was surprised how much diamond that used to make the... Uh, Every module that was I put in there. I've already forgotten. <laughs> that is a good question. What the hell was that? I'll have to check. Alright, so let's see. I think it was this way. Yeah. I like that the prawn suit has its own little thing. Man, when I get that, uh, when I get that, I guess, carrying thing, which will be more lead, of course, that'll be the trick deal. Of course, I say that every time, right? <laughs> because everything makes it a little easier every time, and just uh, incremental improvement. And pretty soon before you know it, you got it ready. Alright, let's install our depth module. And uh, I'm curious. Or no, no, no. That's the storage. Which, oh man. So very nice. Upgrades. What are in there? Alright, 700 meters. Are we, yeah. And that's better than the sea truck will do. So, which I'm not surprised. Well, I was a little bit surprised, I guess, if I'm being honest. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we got another one of those so we can make some benzene. Probably not, but... No, we got the, the yellow thingies. We do have that ribbon plant, though. That's kind of cool. Let's see, 920. All right. All right, stick with me just a little bit longer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to find some.
because I, I got a I got an inkling where they might be. Actually, we'll, we'll add, hey, I tell you what, we'll head over to our drop pod because I think it's on. The, it might be on the way, but it'll be on the way back. At what we're looking for, and uh, I'll see if I got any over there because I might. And if not, then I just wouldn't it to be. Double check what these are called. Flowering spore. Interesting. Loving this ion battery though. The battery is staying quite steady. And if you had a dual ion battery set up, <laughs> you might not worry about it for a long time. See that'd be 400 versus uh, 2000? Yeah. Well, five times. But then again, this eats through battery pretty quickly, so you wouldn't be able to avoid it forever, or even that long. But just, I mean, hey, what five hundred percent increase? You can never, uh, you can never be mad at that, right? And they're not creep fine clusters; they do look similar. Hmm. Let's see, nine twenty-two. Not too bad. Not too bad. I do have to make my way to a uh, <laughs> press conference or whatever for Moscow Trano. Uh, they've got a, uh, a thing where they're trying to, you know, see if he bribed a judge, basically. So that'll be funny. Let's see what's in here. Do we have it? We don't. Why do we have these other thingies, which are root pustules? Uh, I'll have to look this up, because I, you know, on second thought, maybe I don't know where it is. Look at all this salt and stuff, though. Shrub nut. At least that doesn't go bad. Okay. Well. Flowering spore. Yeah, I don't know. That might even be a surface thing, for all I know. But uh, we'll head back to our base soon and uh, call it a day. So, let's reflect upon what we accomplished in this uh, stream. <laughs> we beat uh, Super Time Force, which, nice. It turns out that the, uh, the suspicion of that guy on Steam might have been correct. I mean, you can't say it for sure, but it sure seemed to help. So, uh, thank you, uh, Steam fellas, for figuring that out. Uh, and we went around in our uh, depth module. We got a couple prawn suit upgrades, as well as the prawn suit itself. And uh, we're still not any further on the story, however. But we did uh, see a new area and got another alien part. So, I think, overall, I think we did pretty good on this stream here. And, uh, like everything, it just sets it up for the next time. Let's see if we get some lead here. There might be a little bit. Argentite. Right here. Galena. Okay, there is. Alright, lead. Nice. All right, so if we get one more, we'll have the thing for a prawn carrier. Almost. Anyway. We might need another computer chip, which would mean I'd have to go back down. That's limestone. Limestone. Yeah, forgive me. Uh, I'm, I'm on a sound delay, like I said. And so I'm kind of overshooting. Yeah, let's get this table core. Why not? Limestone, Galena, lead, lead. Oh, let's just go ahead and drink some water then. All right, where to go? All right, that would be enough. Uh, let's see, 69. We'll get that oxygen plant next. Uh, let's see. For that, we'll need for our sea truck. What's, uh, what's in our module three? Nickel, kinda. Oh, so we can actually do that now. I think we, well, we don't have quite enough nickel. We've got two. I think I've got another one back there, but we're close, and we have enough kyanite and plasteel for sure, so 
that'll be next time. That'll be uh, our next adventure. Search around for nickel in that area. And let's see our uh, docking module. We just need plastic. Okay. All right. We're good. We're solid. Actually, and uh, what, do, what do we need? Warning. The uh, arm. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Benzene. So yeah, we're not we're go we're not good on that, but. Yeah, if I if I could get one more, I'd appreciate it, but I'm not gonna be greedy about it. Let's we'll see. Here's our truck. Oxygen. We'll make it. Barely. And this was limestone or argentite or whatever the hell. Okay, yeah. Uh Galena, Galena? Well we need that for later. All right, cool. <laughs> bye, bye, mofo. I mean, that aided our uh, aided our uh, health there, but satisfying. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I just keep finding things. It's so nice to be able to be able to actually uh, make stuff, for lack of a better term. Because I'm telling you, it's like spending two or three streams searching for that. Uh, uh, spiral plane clipping. That was demoralizing a bit, I have to admit. <laughs> but finding out later, it was right there the whole time. Let's see, if I can find another thing and it actually drops lead, then I'll, I'll drink another water. Alright, it did. Alright, man of my word here. And, uh, was there another here? Inventory full. Yeah, okay, whatever. Titanium. We're not worried about titanium. We got Calorie it. intake recommended. Heard that, ma'am. Uh, well, we don't have it on us, but... Let's just get back to our base and worry about it later, huh? That's good to know that there's a kind of vague source of lead nearby. A meager source, anyway. We'll drop in our moon pool and get this charged up. We'll just have to do some uh, shopkeeping next time when we start the stream. All right, there we go. Uh, let's see, we got a little bit of nickel. Let's go ahead and get that. Uh, it's an upgrade station, that's right. So we have to pop it out here. And that's kyanite and nickel. Oh, it's just need more nickel. I guess we'll do a lot of nickel mining tomorrow. We already got kyanite out the wazoo. Uh, Mark two, Mark three. So I need. Uh, okay, we're not actually worried about that. What was I gonna do? Uh, the sea truck deal. That's right. Let's see. That requires. But well, we're not doing that yet. Docking module requires a plasteel ingot, also. So that's pretty simple. We'll just drop that glass there, and we might even have one already cooked up here. And yeah, we do. Damn all this water, man! Pop back up. Climb the ladder here. Go ahead and make our little module here. And this would be a uh, docking module.
and I'll just pose them next to each other and that'll be our thumbnail and then I'll get off finally. <laughs> We'll get our uh, depth modules next time. I think I'll prioritize the seed truck. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Okay. Seed yeah, well, I hear that. Immediately. I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I will not argue with you on that. <laughs> there we go. We'll just eat that. Some bitch. Vital signs stabilizing. All right. Now, how do we dock? How do we dock? Oh, that's neat. You actually have to like pilot it over. And at, le at least they don't make you have your own battery for it. Jeez, that would be a nightmare. If you want. There we go. Locked and loaded, friends. And this is a uh, disconnect modules exit. All right, pilot. Let's go down and find our prawn suit, buddy. There we go, friends. Look at that. Isn't that nice? It's a happy little family. Yeah, and we'll need to grapple, but that's later. Well, the board, Captain. Indeed, sir. Okay, I'd like. I took it back. We're gonna take a thumbnail of that thing right there. Now that. Look at that, that is pretty as a picture. Well, it is gonna be a picture. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. All right, well, I'm gonna save. Yeah, today was actually very productive. <laughs> I'll take us back to the Zasu screen here. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, wow. Uh, well, you saw it yourself, uh, if you were watching there. And if you catch the VOD later, you'll see it then. <laughs> But uh, that was that was some good Subnautica today, guys. I'd say we got our uh, depth module upgraded, uh, pretty much sorted out for the uh, for the prawn suit and the uh, sea truck next time because I got the kyanite or I know where to get it at least, and uh, I have a pretty good idea to we'll get some more nickel. Uh, unfortunately, it's in the Shadow Leviathan area, but uh, we'll find it. We'll find it, and I've already got two, so. Just one more will be fine, and we'll get one of them. Uh, a sea truck first, I believe. And, uh, well, I guess that's it. It'll be next week, probably, before I do that. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be Thursday or Wednesday. I'm kind of playing around with the dates on when I do these things. But, uh, and I guess we'll have a new game next week, too, because we did end up beating Super Time Force, which, hey, wow. So, yeah, this stream was a great one. Uh... As far as which new game, I don't know. Maybe we'll do uh, Tomba. I, maybe we'll do Tomba. Or maybe we'll do Deus Ex. I'm kind of holding off on Deus Ex until uh, 23rd, which is Deus Ex Day. Because uh, both of the uh, older one or the prequels, if you want to call them, released on August the 23rd, five years apart. And it'll be six years apart this time. If I if it was this time last year, it would have been perfect. But hey, you can't you can't do everything, right? But uh, yeah, probably, probably look for that on the 23rd of August. But next week, I might do Tomba. Because... Uh, I'm kind of itching to do that or I might do ultra kill actually I think ultra kill might be our stream our new game for next week but anyway uh, more maple of course also and more subnautica till we get this done uh, that's all I got to say for now anyway thanks for coming or watching the vault or whatever and uh, you have a great one